seems to stick with him. I think the first one he went uh, Squid Kid, and then after that he just gets stuck with like his dominant meta. He's the best down B maneuver I've ever seen with Meta Knight. Oh, definitely tricky. Already punishing that forward air. Can't do that for free. Nice move and grab. It's a reverse up air. Whoa, what? Yeah, you, you, got, you definitely have to connect those to continue some combos in this game. So the thing is, if uh, you don't go for Meta Knight's hit after the down B, you get to just drift down. Oh, and, and yeah. Land. So that's why that's the thing is that it throws a lot of people off because they're wondering like, yo, anytime I use Meta Knight's down B, I'm just stuck there, you know? What's going on? It's because you keep trying to hit and then you press down B again. Yeah, you, or you can just hold it. Exactly. Yep. You gotta be careful about that. You gotta know when to use it and when not to. And Abadog is so smart with that. Even I've seen him use it from ledge. Like when he gets off ledge with it. Crazy stuff. It, it opens up a whole new game. The thing about, I like about Yama Nyon's plays, he definitely loves using the side B. He definitely yeah. loves using the side B. He loves using Zare. The falling Zare, yep. yeah. He, he is a big fan well, of that whip. We talk about it every time we, he, we continuously will because Yama Nyon's such a great player. Always out here at the top. What a spot dodge. And sick punish from Abaddon. Okay, we're climbing back to the stage. This is neutral after neutral, right? This is where he... Yamano kind of thrives. Exactly. So he'd rather have this situation over and over again. I guess he feels most comfortable in the neutral. Exactly. And you know, yeah, Zero Suit Samus throws out those quick moves. All he has is those two real projectiles that, that Yamano uses again, like you were saying, that side beat on Hollings Air. But he's able to do that so well, see, just like that, where it doesn't matter. He's just gonna keep doing that. You're at high percent. Hey, take you back to the Brawl days. Hope you to that high percent and take you off the top. And I kind of has to resort to that really risky tornado too. The tornado quite quick, but it's really risky. But the that's shuttle loop. The scoop off the top. Okay, back to neutral. Shuttle loop. I forgot it was called that. Thank you. Yeah, the the shuttle loop. Shuttle loop. Yeah. The loop is scoop. Take a loopy loop then pull. Okay. So is that cool. side beat? No, that's not gonna take it. Really buffed in this game. That thing can destroy stocks. I'm so happy with the side beat that grab ledge. I hated that when you would bounce off the side and side floor with it. Oh, I think that was the wrong, yeah, what wrong spot, way. What a spot touch for Yamanon though, not getting punished from that really, other than just one single down tilt. That's great stuff. A lot of people will just get a whole combo video off of that. that. Back to the neutral, Abadango forces him to shield. That thing's looking like a Skittle, be careful. <laughs> but Yamanyon doesn't really apply that pressure there. He opts to go away, get bonded wow. for it, 41%. Yeah, you gotta watch out, because the up air train. Up air. Yeah, that up air train still exists. Nice poke with the That's side B. The side B we're talking about, Ken. Up. Uh, I think Abadango up. there actually tr was going for the down air to punish the air dodge, but that platform wow. was in his way. Calls him out with the upbeat. And that's such a risk too, but Yamanon takes it, you know? It's like a heavy show you can. He's gonna take his chance. Yeah, oh, Abadango already 40%. But it seems that Abadango was able to kill far earlier. In comparison to Namanyon, already 93%. You gotta be careful about those shuttle loops, man. That's gonna take you off the top, especially if you DI in like that. And that's the crazy thing about Smash Ultimate. Yeah, I, oh, nothing personnel, kid. Takes them out. You're talking about those teleports earlier. Especially those from the, the ledge. Yeah, Abadon exactly is a big that. fan of that. So much coverage. And <laughs> even the, the back projector throwing me off for a second. But Abadon was able to stay in this game. How's Namanyong going to keep him in there? Is he going to go for it? I thought he was going to yeah, go for another was, side B or God, something. They don't take a, they don't do ladders no more here in Smash Ultimate. We, just, we take the stairs, all right? Oh, Air out of shield, such a good get off of it. I wonder if uh, Yam Yamayo was definitely not ready for that, that oh, down no. B teleport to that platform. Kind of jumped, but really didn't do anything out of it. It's just, I don't know where he's going to go. It's Very so tricky. It's such a mix up. He's able to act so fast afterwards. He can attack you. He can be evading. There's so much, but that's Star KO right back. 63%. Yeah, and that's how he lost his stock the first time, too. Uh, just running face first into that side B. 
Yep. Abdongo using got that it. tornado again. Got to adapt quick. You got to can't be impatient, not for a single second against Yamanyang, or else you're going to get punished. Wow. <laughs> nice punish for that dash attack. Is that going to be it? No. Okay, so he tried to use a tornado the there to get the... This is the bounce off the stage to safely go to the platform away from his grab. Yeah, definitely tried to use the tornado there off of the ledge. I really like that. And he suspected, you know, well, he knew that he had to use that boost kick. So if he's able to hit him away with that tornado, then it would be impossible for Niamanyon to recover because of that side, that up B being so vertical rather than horizontal. I think Yamanyon really like that stuff. Good. He's adapting to this down B. We punished him three times already now for it. Abadon just a little bit hesitant to go in unless he can go underneath because he already lost twice two stocks to that side. The Yamanyong playing that range game with Zero Suit Samus. He's just keeping him in. Oh, that's unfortunate. Sometimes you just drop your shield a little bit too early, right? You want to parry or, you know, you think the punish is over and you think you're good to go again? Nope. You can see again Abadongo using the tornado when he knows that Yamanyong has to use that upbeat. To come back exactly. Yep. Great stuff. No punish that paralyzer, but that's gonna catch him. Is that's that gonna be it. No, it's great not. Great TI from Abadongo, able to stay alive. <laughs> Both of them just holding shield in front of each other. Don't. Okay, I was gonna say, three, don't tell me. I was about to say three for three, three for the side B, but no. Yeah. Not three for Double. three. Oh my goodness! He was ready catches, for that teleport. Catches it. If you use that teleport too many times and it's always to the same position, then you're eventually gonna get punished for it, right? You're gonna get but caught. Kind of, but kind of the rule of fighting games, Smash Brothers, you know, if you are doing something and your opponent's not punishing you for it, then you kind of get complacent, right? You get exactly. used to using that over and over. That autopilot, that's what I'm saying. Everybody wanting to close it out that last game, but they just stop. They stop thinking so hard about what should I do next, and instead they just go in. But it was, was it right there. I don't blame them because it was actually working. So switching to inkling. Okay, here we go. Two, one, go. Okay, so this might be something that you're more familiar with Abadango using, right? The inkling. And I'm really liking that a lot of inklings like such as Cosmos. Well, really, kind of the only inkling at the moment. <laughs> Even Abadango. Really up there, I think. Mean. Yeah, yeah. And uh, they're, they're starting to use neutral B to try to tack on more damage because when the opponent's covered in ink, they actually take more damage. So so that's the thing right there with the roller. Great that we get to talk about it. So the new 2.0 patch did three things with the roller. So the hitbox is just very slightly smaller, hardly noticeable, but still smaller. And it did two things, a nerf and a buff. Nerf at low percent, because now you can mash out of it easier, but a buff at higher percent, it takes longer to mash out of it. I see. I, I didn't notice that hitbox change. I could have. It's very, it's so minute. It's it's hardly noticeable. I mean, again, it, it, it's just like a couple pixels like smaller. It's hardly noticeable. Oh, but, and that's going to confirm. And that only confirms that certain percents, too. I mean, for the kills, so you got to be really jump, careful with that. Recovery option from Yamanon. But Abadongo. Oh, rain in the grenades. Nice pressure there. Yamanyon had to be careful. Unfortunately, that be not going to allow him to get back. You know, the small stature of Inkling, the speed, the mobility, able to get in. And, and the combo game. Yeah, definitely proven to be the better choice here. It and seems like Abadongos have a solid lead. And still covered in the purple, taking such a long time for that to come off. It takes One, a while. 1.5 times the knockback. I, I believe it's just damage. Damn it, damage, damage. Sorry, sorry. Thank you. You're right. And just reapplying it, too. Oh, no. You gotta Freaks watch out. The jump. <laughs> gotta watch out there. He tries to use the air dodge to the left, but instead goes straight back up. I mean, Yamayon, I think, still trying to play a little bit passive, but putting the pressure on in the corner. Yeah. Good stuff. Keeps him in, just like that, off the top. Shout out to Esam, never neutral get up against Zero Samus. Exactly. Wow, that's gonna be it. Okay, that must have been one of those rare percents that actually confirmed. Boy using formula 409, a clean stock ahead right now. 
air dodges in front of them, most Inklings usually go for that grab. And, and, uh, when they're right in front, but Yamanon adapting to that. Yeah, keeping that space right. Also, in this game, you know, the grab has been kind of nerfed. Especially Shield grab, especially, yeah. yeah. So, you definitely want to get rid of that habit. Smash 4, that thing was powerful, but oh, not yeah. this one. But all, still, pull back ahead. The falling there beats out the, uh, my friends and I call Inkling's nu uh, neutral B the wind neutral button. And uh, Yamanyan's falling there takes it, beats it out. Wow, he tried to use the jab there. Thought he was gonna maybe tech in place. Or maybe some sort of jab lock there. Okay, using the wow. grenade to try to apply that pressure off the stage. And Just able to safely load afterwards with that. Able to reload that ink. Oh, no. Wait, wait, to the platform real quick. This is show off. And after that, knocks him out of there with the up air. One to one. We're going to game three. I like how every single game, like, both players got to take a sip of Red Bull. Exactly. It's, it's mandatory. I got to take a sip myself, all right? This is great stuff. Game three situation. Hey, Inkling was a great pick, great change. Yeah, definitely a good, good change of pace. Great stuff. I, I'm so happy we're going to game three. Two of, you know, the best players we have here right now at this venue probably going to be winners finals. If you ask. Well, not because somebody's going to be moved to losers after this. Now someone's going to. One of them's going to tear through losers after this. All right, let's see if Yamanyon is able to adapt to the aggressive playstyle of Abadango's Inkling. Okay. We're going back to Pokemon Stadium. And as we say, you know, the player's taking a sip of the Red Bull. One of the great TOs out here, watch, gives both of us commentators a Red Bull of our own. Thank you, buddy. Such and a great shout guy. Shout out to Red Bull. Yeah, shout out to Red Bull Gaming Street, Red Bull in general. It's great stuff. You get to kick back, drink a little, and enjoy the game. I've been noticing also that it looks like when Abadonko's at pressured at the corner, the ledge, it seems like Yamayon is able to do a pretty good job of uh, tacking on some extra percent, keep him off the stage. Exactly, exactly. And uh, kind of when Abadonko is actually able to retreat back to center, he kind of just, I don't know, throws out an option. Yeah, like that. Throws out an option, doesn't work, runs back. Like, oh, I, I'm out of here. Oh. The jump. Side beat to the face, but doesn't take him out. Yeah, oh, I'm gonna throw out something and then retreat. Oh, no retreat there. The forward smash kicks him out of there. Abadago readjusting himself. I uh, don't know if he's ready. I definitely would have been mixed up by that, though. With how many times Yamunyon was just running away, I wouldn't have thought that he'd just go for an aggressive option like that. Again, the falling air. We're going back to Pokemon Stadium too. I just realized that. I, I guess Dave's rule doesn't apply here. Ah, yeah. I mean, Abadongo's feeling it. Ooh. Able to roll right behind it and takes him off the top. Even Yamio uh, adjusting himself real quick. Both of them realizing, hey, <laughs> I'm fighting a really great guy. Oh, nice. We're now rolling for just some pressure. You know, the ruler ever, hardly ever comes out with like high level play. But on, online, you see that thing all the time. <laughs> People are just whipping it out. And it's crazy because really that but that buff and nerf I was talking about, more or less at this high level, it's a buff because players aren't gonna use it at low percent if they're good, you know? No. Use it at that high percent and now they have way more time to punish it. Oh, uh, yeah, Abadongo, I knew it was going to go for that grab there. Yamayon, too slippery. And now Abadongo in the lead this time. You know, ship, uh, a nice change of pace for him. Yeah, it, it, it looks like now Abadongo is kind of the one that has to run away and uh, recharge some of that ink there. Whoa! This is the back air. And Abadongo going for a hard yeah, read. Yeah, yeah, he is definitely going for that hard read. Maybe he thought it was going to go in. Way less side beats this time. Going for those Zares, though. Oh, is that a taunt? What was that? I, I don't really know. I, I've never seen Inkling's taunt. I think that was a taunt. <laughs> and you can taunt cancel in this game, so it doesn't really matter. And that's the up smash to take him off the top. Recharges all the way. Too many of those jumps in. Yo, I'm like, yo, Too many last jump in. Stop. Yeah. Is he gonna able to pressure him here? Keep off the stage like last time? Yeah, wow. okay. Wow, blocks the roller there. Uses the up B punish. Last stock. Neutral start, and you know that was that was actually a raw input. Now that they took the up B option select out of the game with the most recent patch, Yamion again 
keeps trying to follow up with these forward airs. Uh, so sorry, a grab after he does something, but it's not working for him. Nice I was gonna say how Abadako at low percent, he, he usually opts for a down throw multi jab rather than trying to aerial him. You gotta I, get those, gotta get that ink on them. Exactly. Wow, goes right. He knew that Zare was coming in, goes and right great underneath. Great TI from Yamayon. And waiting out uh, with the tether grab for the. Uh, for the, sorry, sorry, the ink bomb. Oh no, is that oh, it? Oh yes, my that goodness! Is. He was not ready for that ledge, that ledge trump. And he actually did the grenade to add that extra pressure. So if he actually teched upward, he could have died from the